power. Power is something that we all wish we had a little bit more of, but sometimes we look at the wrong types of power. See, the best kind of power was the power that Jesus had. See, Jesus had the amazing power and ability to do incredible things and miracles in this world. And he also told us that the same power he had, we would also have. But I think it's difficult at times for us to really imagine that we could have that same type of power because sometimes we feel powerless. Sometimes we feel like, you know what, the things that are happening in this world around us, it's more than we can deal with. Sometimes we feel like maybe we don't have the strength that we should have to do what is right. Maybe we have too many hopeless situations in our life and we begin to doubt if we could really have that same type of power. But here's the amazing thing. See, Jesus truly had real power and he promised us that we could have that same type of power in our lives. See, even those times when it seems difficult, it seems challenging, and it seems impossible, we can know that with God, nothing is impossible, that there really is true power in Jesus. But sometimes we might doubt, don't we? Yeah, sometimes we might wonder if we really can have that same type of power. But here's the incredible truth. You see, we have been given reminders throughout Scripture. In fact, there is an amazing verse that we can know, and that is Ephesians 3.20, which tells us that He is able to do much, much more than we could ever ask or imagine. See, He has more power than we could ever imagine. We need to trust in the power of Jesus and know that of everything we see in the world, the one true power we can always rely on, that, of course, is Jesus Christ. The words of Ephesians 3.20 give me hope. It is such a great reminder that he is able to do immeasurably more than we could ever ask or imagine according to his power at work within us. I hope that today you are reminded that he still has the power to make an amazing difference in this world. I hope that you are going before him every day in prayer to thank God for the good things in your life and to remember he has the power to overcome the obstacles that are in front of us. I want to thank you guys today for making this a part of each and every day. It is day five of 30 Days of Hope. We love the fact that you are joining us every day. Please feel free to share these things, these messages of hope with family or friends that you know that might need a word of encouragement as well. I'll see you again tomorrow morning.